Hello, thank you. Um, I'm, my name is David Ham. I'm the CEO of Scanit Chain. So, uh, thanks for joining us here today. Um, it's a really, really great pleasure to be here on stage with you guys. So, many of you guys already know about uh, Scanit Chain. Um, you're going to have to excuse my voice. Um, I was up all night yesterday. Um, I'm a major soccer fan. Um, I've been up every day since the start of the World Cup and been sleeping at 4.30 and 5. Um, and yesterday was an uh, extremely intense and happy evening because of the win. Um, but anyways, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll resume again. So, a lot of you guys already know about Scanit Chain um, and uh, how we're building an AR uh, blockchain platform. Um, and basically, it uh, redefines the way that people access content and uh, other data on their mobile devices. Okay. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with our service, I'll provide a, a very brief overview today um, about what Scanit Chain does and what it is. Um, and also, I, I want to share with you today um, some exciting status updates uh, with respect to our service um, and provide uh, a few announcements. So, uh, we're building in a hybrid AR blockchain system, um, utilizing augmented reality and blockchain. Um, and what we're building is a, a service that uh, you can upload content into, and you could also access content. And now we have two components to this. Uh, we have an on-chain component, and we have an off-chain component. Now, on-chain, which is the blockchain, um, we utilize the NEM protocol at the core, um, and it enables our scan ledger. Uh, as well, uh, on-chain, um, uh, the NEM blockchain protocol enables us uh, to uh, utilize uh, functions such as blockchain-based identification, um, and we'll be utilizing uh, the NEM-based mosaic token system, um, and apostles. Um, and what apostle does is it allows us to do automatic notarization or registration of uh, content. Off-chain, we have built an AR content platform uh, that will enable a number of use cases um, in advertising, uh, shopping, uh, social networking, content delivery. Um, it enables uh, the creation of AR markers, um, and AR markers can be anything from brand uh, logos, images, uh, product images, other pictures. And we also have a cloud streaming content system uh, that enables a very quick uh, delivery of content to mobile devices. Now, what does this all do? And what does this mean? So basically, uh, our service, our AR blockchain platform, gives people the ability to access relevant content. So I mentioned that already. Um, and now it, what, we, what I mean by that is it allows people to access relevant content from their mobile device. Right? So, a natural behavior today is you have your mobile device and you pull out your phone and you turn on your camera and you scan things. With our platform, with our service and our technology, instead of searching for something and typing something in uh, one of the search engines like Google or Naver, we envision uh, a future where you could use your mobile device and scan and access relevant content. Right? So if you scan an AR marker, uh, you should, let's say it's a brand, Okay, I'll, I'll just give an example. Um, let's say it's Nike, and uh, Nike logo has been uh, created as an AR marker. You scan that marker, and you may have, you, what you'll see on your mobile device is you'll see uh, maybe a brand website, maybe a brand video, maybe a list of products, maybe a map of store locations, and maybe even direct you directly into the purchase site of one of their online stores. Or, Maybe it's a retailer or it's a distributor, right? So the value of that to end users, similar to what uh, you know, Andy Tian was mentioning, is the value, the usage of uh, services on blockchain, right? 
Now, we utilize AR uh, so that it, it adds a visual effect and visual value um, to what um, you're going to use. Right? And um, the AR technology allows us to enable uh, content to be delivered through these markers. And again, um, AR markers can be anything. Um, it could be a, a logo. Right? It could be a picture. So um, usually the flow of how it works is um, uh, once an, uh, a marker is created, you also, through our platform, uh, you could upload data that matches that. And what is that matching data? It could be a video, it could be a website, etc. Right? You select the marker to it. Um, and what you will do is you scan that marker. And when you scan that marker, what you see on the right side is it enable uh, a, a new type of content. So um, when I meet people for the first time and I give them my business card, rather than me talking about our service, I pull out my business card and I scan it with my, my mobile device and it leads directly into our, our company's lifestyle video. Right? So rather than me talking, I can show people what we're doing. And that's the point of Scan It Chain. Right? So AR streamed results. Now, um, the blockchain functions. Um, I mentioned uh, we're utilizing them for uh, notarization of content. So anyone can be a content producer, um, brands, uh, companies. It could be individuals as well, too. Um, now, uh, the platform also uh, will connect into other existing systems, right? So what we envision is when we're doing business, and, 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 and how we'd like to do business is we'd like to work with other platform operators, right? So I said retailers, commerce, uh, advertisers. So instead of going one by one to every individual brand, there are a lot of platforms out there that already have content, right? So through simple set of APIs, our platform will enable this content to become markers. Now what value that adds to individuals and end users is now there is a larger set of markers out there in the world that you could utilize your device with, right? Now, on the blockchain, um, uh, we have uh, what we call the SWC token. And that token um, also, uh, you know, so after notarization, that token also allows and gives people uh, within this decentralized, uh, say, economy, uh, the right to vote. So we utilize the voting system within them, and um, it allows uh, participants uh, to vote and um, uh, have a say in, in the evolution of our, our service. Now, oops, let me go back here. Uh, as well, uh, the SWC token uh, within the ecosystem, uh, how is it used? So when people upload content and they share in content with others, they have the ability to incentivize people to, some, to see their content, right? As well, people who are consuming or viewing and accessing this content also have the two-way uh, right or ability to, you could say, um, gift or reward uh, content producers, right? And again, the token is used for voting as well, too. So there is an incentivization and tokenization function within uh, the e ecosystem. So, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, what the solution is, um, it's really bringing the offline and online together. It's enabling new content uh, to be delivered through existing, um, you could say, formats, um, and it enable brands and products uh, to be um, viewed in, in a much different way, um, and it's all protected and with the blockchain, right? So. Uh, some of the things that we'd like to say, it's a little bit broad in scope, but changing the ways of the world. Uh, anything can be a marker. Don't search it, scan it. Now, uh, we're also um, part of our effort to be socially responsible. Um, uh, our service uh, will be available uh, for nonprofit organizations and communities in need for free. Okay? And, um, we will be donating a percentage of the total service revenue uh, to charitable causes and organizations. And all of our social responsibility programs and activities uh, will be uh, fully transparent on the blockchain. 
So uh, moving to uh, some announcements, um, status updates regarding our service. Um, we're very happy to, to say that um, in our roadmap, which you see there in, on June 2018, actually yesterday, uh, we launched the AR uh, commercial app on um, the Android Play Store. So our application is now available uh, to download on Android Play Store. It'll be available on iOS in two months. Uh, there's a little bit more development that's required on that side because we have to use Apple's AR kit. Um, but uh, the cloud streaming service and the app are now live, right? So uh, we will be going through a little bit of a test phase um, just to make sure that it's working well. But you could already use it now and you could, uh, you could create markers, you could attach, uh, match data to it, and you could scan and utilize it right now. And what we've done actually, a lot of the participants who are here today, a lot of uh, partners and sponsors, we've actually already uploaded their logos into our system. So if you go to our booth today um, and you download the app and you can test it out, the back of our booth as well, uh, we have enabled a number of markers so that you could try it today and see how it actually works. And in about a month's time, we're gonna commercially uh, launch uh, with partners. So I'm gonna actually announce a number of partners that we're working with today. Um, and and uh, as you see uh, in the roadmap, um, uh, we have a number of things that we will be doing in the very near future. So next month and into August, um, we'll be uh, opening a shop, um, setting up our US operations, where we'll be focused on AR-based advertising, utilizing our technology. And what we're gonna be doing is working with uh, ad networks, and we'll also be enabling print media uh, to, with uh, new AR content. Um, and then we'll expand on our partnerships uh, around the world uh, as we move forward. And then in uh, Q1 or H1, uh, first half of next year, uh, the fully live uh, commercial version with the blockchain component, um, the notarization, the tokenization, incentivization, rewarding functions uh, will be live. Right? So we're just building that out now. And, and, and what we wanted to do was we wanted to have something available for people to use right now because we have a lot of partners that want to go with this already. So just with the AR only platform, we could already do business and we could already start realizing some of our use cases and, and generate value, not just for our partners, um, but also for end users. And, and again, it's all about having people use and adopt the services. So, uh, partnerships. So we've, we've been very busy as of late um, working on partnerships and, and building relationships with organizations that we feel um, provide mutual value not just for ourselves but also for uh, the end user. So uh, we mentioned NEM. NEM obviously is a very important partner for us because it's the blockchain protocol that we use. Um, and, and, and with NEM, we, we believe that we'd, um, what we can do is not only promote NEM, but also promote our service as something uh, that can be easily used and, and, and quickly developed for, for mass adoption. Overnodes. So Overnodes is a very unique organization, unique company, uh, a very good friend of mine. Uh, named Jake Lim and started this company. I call them the, the PayPal of cryptocurrency. So when we launch our service, um, we're gonna be implementing their service into um, what we do. And what do they do? Um, a lot of ICO projects, there's only really two ways to utilize or, or get their tokens. One is participate in the ICO or wait for them to um, list on an exchange. But some of these utility tokens, you actually need the token to use the service. And if you didn't access the token in, in those two ways, how do you get it? Well, Overnodes en enables that, so you could directly purchase that um, through fiat, uh, bank, um, credit card, et cetera. Keychain, um, they are a, a very valuable partner for us and helped us with a lot of the consulting of our services. Um, and uh, they will continue to be a, a very valuable partner for us as we move forward. Uh, Tricubix is a, an, a 3D image recognition and AI company. So our service right now, we utilize AR and blockchain. 
and right now we implement markers, right? But we envision down the line, we will need to use image recognition and artificial intelligence to be able to recognize things that are not, not only things that are registered already, but things that are not, right? So uh, partnership with TriCubix is meant to enhance our solution as we move forward. Gifto, uh, you just uh, saw Andy Tian uh, on stage. Andy is an advisor on our project, um, but as well, um, uh, we, we are going to be working with uh, Andy um, to find ways and how do we um, uh, develop this token economy and how do we enhance uh, the mass usage of these types of services. Cozy stay. So, uh, Cozy Stay, a, a friend of mine, uh, Galen Chang, who's actually here today, um, they're a company based out of Vancouver, Canada. Um, they are similar to, I don't like to say it, but the, you could say it's kind of like, a, like an Airbnb type service, accommodation listing service. Uh, they target the China market. They are uh, a very unique organization, 60,000 uh, customers. They are forming into an alliance with a very large organization named Tujia in China. Uh, the Airbnb of China. Um, so what we are doing with Cozy Stay is um, we will assist Cozy Stay with our AR platform um, and they will utilize it as a marketing tool. So when people scan Cozy Stay's logo or listings, uh, they may have access to uh, you know, the accommodation view of the interior, things like that. What do we get from this relationship? we enhance and increase our database of AR markers with uh, the listing content that Cozy Stay has. And it's a, a very, bull, very valuable relationship and I'm very glad to announce that today. <laughs> Galen's right there. Um, so, uh, Met Media. So, Met Media is uh, based out of uh, Los Angeles, Hollywood. Um, they are an Emmy Award winning uh, media company. Uh, they they uh, produce shows on ESPN. Um, they utilize AR in a lot of um, sports broadcasts. So if you watch uh, NFL football or uh, basketball, etc., and you see an athlete on TV and you might see his sports statistics show up, that's utilizing AR. Um, and that's uh, the work of Mad Media. But we're, right now we're working on uh, a partnership with them uh, to enable uh, AR-based uh, uh, content um, for advertising, uh, you could say for uh, TV networks, uh, real estate, etc. So uh, there's a number of other partners here. Um, FIA Media, uh, they are one of the largest product placement or PPL marketers in Korea. Um, and, and this relationship that we, we have built with them is quite unique. So when you watch Korean dramas and TVs, shows, sometimes you see, you know, the, the very good-looking, handsome actor drinking a cup of coffee. Well, that coffee has been placed there very strategically as, as a, a brand marketing tool. Or he has a watch, or he has a belt, or he has shoes, uh, or there's a car. All of these products have been strategically placed within these shows uh, to be marketed. We've signed an agreement with Via Media where all of this product within these, you could say, um, shows will be enabled as markers. So when people are watching TV, and a lot of people actually use their phone and they chat with their friends while they're watching TV, can now scan and see product information with our service. Right? So that's going to be very exciting. Token Post, Econo Times. Um, thank you to them for hosting this event. Um, but they are a very valuable partner for us as one of our media partners. Um, they have helped us uh, get our message out um, and, uh, um, you know, uh, a very uh, fruitful uh, partnership on both ends. And uh, we are doing an airdrop event, okay? So um, for this, um, because we have launched our uh, AR app, uh, we will be giving away uh, 200 SWC tokens uh, to 200 people um, that 
utilize Android devices that download our app. If you want more information about it, you can go to our booth a little bit later. Now, the iOS app is not available just yet. As I mentioned, it's available in two months. So a lot of people have Apple devices, and we don't want to leave them out. So for people on, uh, on the Apple side, uh, we're going to select 300 people. Uh, if you join our Telegram community, we'll, we'll select 300 people, and we'll give away 200 uh, SWC. And there is a time limit on that um, uh, airdrop event. And it looks like I have, uh, I'm, I'm over time, but the great thing is, that's the last page. Thank you. <laughs>